Anna, aka Boondog of Bliss, and today we're going to do something a little different. So for all the fashionistas out there, sorry, no clothing for you. So if you like that type of stuff, I apologize. This is going to be a one-off kind of video. I'm going to do a board game haul, and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and kind of what's been my delay in making videos. Uh, first and foremost, I assure you I'll be making more videos soon. My laptop of like seven years, my MacBook just went kaput. And so I've been stalling because I just ordered, well, a week and a half ago, I ordered a new MacBook, so it's on its way. It should be coming in today, finally. I had to, you know, soup it up and like customize it and stuff, so it's taking its sweet time, but it's finally coming today. Um, so I'm super excited because it's it's been a while. I really need a, a new laptop. And second of all, I've been working on a project for a friend of my son, and that's what it's all going to be about today. So um, stay tuned. I want to show you a little bit about um, the boy that will be benefiting from the proceeds of all the sales of the games um, that I will be earning. So let's meet Ashton. Ashton is my son's friend from wrestling from his high school. Uh, he's a senior and last summer he suffered a spinal cord injury basically leaving him a quadriplegic. So he has no use of his arms or legs. With that the family has a lot of changes they have to make. You know from going from a two-story home to a one-story home. They have to buy a new vehicle that's equipped to transport Ashton. They have to invest in a lot of pieces um, into their home to make Ashton uh, comfortable. So we are basically helping out and my contribution is doing a virtual garage sale and selling as much as I can. All right, let's get started and see all the games that I will be selling. So I'm actually donating three games that, I, that I've that i purchased somewhere, I don't know where, um, to the lot because it'll be a nice even number of 30. And I can say 30 games for sale. So I have a few unopened ones and I'm gonna include it in the lot. So here's what I'm thinking to do initially because some of them are heavy, right? <clears throat> So the best place to sell them probably would be, if I'm going to do it, uh, you know, nationally on the internet, I'm going to start with Mercari um, because I'm hoping I can sell maybe lots. Um, and you guys know it's $7 for up to three pounds, $15 for up, for up to 10 pounds. Uh, wait, what did I say? $10. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's seven dollars for three pounds nine dollars for ten pounds oh okay I'll, I'll insert the pricing on the side after i look at it but anyway it will be the cheapest to do it on mercari i don't want to sell these on ebay because it's just way too much work and the shipping is probably going to be super expensive it's just not going to work out um but before i do all that here's my plan i am thinking of taking a picture of all of them, like all 30, and doing some posts locally. So I'm gonna start with Nextdoor, and if any of you don't know what, what Nextdoor is, it's a neighborhood app. Um, for example, my neighborhood is called the Parkway, and so we have a group of all the people that live in the Parkway, and anytime you wanna sell something, you wanna do a note, or maybe you've lost a pet, or maybe you're gonna have a big party and you just wanna alert neighbors in the area, um, you would go to um, next door and put that in there. So it's like a virtual message board for a neighborhood. So I think, I'm thinking of putting an ad there, um, then neighborhood Facebook groups, and then potentially, if I'm already doing that, then I'll do um, Craigslist five mile open um, offer up and let go. So those are my local options. So before like I go through the trouble of photographing each one and writing um, a summary and posting them individually, I'm gonna see if I can sell them in lots. I'll do an option of one lot of 30, 
maybe I'll do an option of two lots of 15 games, um, maybe three lots of 10, and see if there's any way I can sell it quick like that to quickly get cash. Because I know once I get my butt on Mercari and start doing individual, then it's going to take a little bit of time. So let me just do the the haul and see what you what you guys uh, think and any recommendations you have um, I really really would welcome them uh, down below so first game is a classic Turner classic movie seen it it comes with a DVD so um, yeah all right that's not one I would buy for my own entertainment but I'll show you which ones I really do like Next one I have is from my collection, Cranium, the family fun game, unopened. These suckers go for like $29, $35 new on, on eBay. So, mm, you know, like the ones that are unopened, it's so hard for me to just say, hey, you know, take all of these for, oh yeah, pricing. So I think I'm going to do like 200 for 30 Okay, so what does that come out to? Let me see how that would work. <clears throat> so if I do 200 divided by 30, so that's six dollars and 66. Ooh, that's the sign of the devil. 666. I might have to do more than 200 because I do not want that. So maybe I'll do like 250 for for 30 games. And I know that's like really crazy high, but I just want to see maybe maybe there is a place that would benefit from having all those games because you know board games are like the thing right now um so you never know i'll see it's for a good cost okay next one i have is spend suspend <laughs> spend that's what i do suspend the teetering wobbly shifting tipping unbalanced balance game and that one is brand new um so yeah there's one Let's get started here. There is a lot, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Another unopened one. And if any of you want to buy some, let me know. And uh, Mercari, Mercari shipping is the best, or we can do a PayPal thing if you want, if you don't mind the spend on shipping. Uh, the next one is Funny or Die, the hilarious caption game. Um, that's one I was like, oh, maybe I should keep that one. It looks really interesting. Match captions and photos to make hilarious combinations. Everybody votes on which is the funniest and which dies, but the best joke wins. Look forward to late nights filled with first, first pumps, fist pumps, and high fives. Um, this looks like a good game. Unopened as well. So next up, we have some classic Yahtzee. I even went through, so I, in preparation for this, I went through and did a little spreadsheet. I named each game that I'm going to be selling, the brand. I wrote the condition. Um, and then, so there, here's the cool thing. And you, you all eBayers probably know all this. And I'm just like, oh, this is really cool. So I have this basic QR reader app that I got a long time ago. And so what I noticed I can do is just go like this, and it captures the barcode, and it takes me directly to uh, information about it. So I, I can look up prices, and so that's where I quickly saw all the prices that are being charged for those. You go to prices, deals, you get images, so I'm going to have stock photos for it. Um, and then I went to eBay, and then on eBay it shows you all the different, I know it's like, ugh. It shows you all the different prices so I went through some of them and I looked at um, how much used uh, games go for and I was able to arrive at, arrive at some pricing so I'm really excited about that Q reader I almost didn't use it I almost like started to Google everything so I'm glad I didn't do that so we have a Yahtzee game we have Locus Locus is really awesome it's, it reminds me of Tetris but Anyway, I'm not going to describe each of the single one game because you guys are going to go nuts, but I'll point out some of my favorites. So this is a great game. Um, I think it was only like used once. Everything is neatly organized inside. Um, it doesn't even look like it was really used because the little plastic baggies haven't been opened. So some of them I'm calling them like brand new partially open because the box was open, but the things inside are still sealed. So that's pretty cool. All right. 
We have categories. Every family has categories. And as soon as I was like picking up these boxes, I'm like, oh my god, this is so heavy. How am I gonna ship it? But it's once again brand new, un unused. Like none of this stuff has been yet opened. It's all still sealed and everything. So I'm so excited. Um, about selling those. Even though I get no money, I'm still excited. Okay, bounce off. This is a great game when you're drinking, okay? So, reminds me of beer pong, but without the beer. Not sure how fun that will be without the beer, but you know, you can still drink if you're over whatever age limit in your state is appropriate. Um, Absolutely, let's see. <laughs> it says winner of no, no, absolutely no awards, but who cares? Because you know some of the games have the award stickers. That's so funny. Anyway, bounce off, unused. This one, I have a feeling I might be able to get a little bit more for. I did, this is a vintage Balderdash, Beyond Balderdash game, and I was looking online and they go for $40, $50, $60, and this is in simply excellent condition. So let me show you. It's just, it's like untouched. It's been untouched. It's beautifully still in one piece, neatly organized. For some of the games, I counted even all the cards and stuff just to make sure we have everything. So, uh, you know, my reputation is at stake here. But Beyond Balderdash, um, Vintage Parker Brothers Edition, I'm kind of excited about this one. Um, and of course, I always look at the years, and this is the 95 edition, and that's what I was looking at. Now, <clears throat> I've, I'm, I don't have a lot of experience at selling games. However, I sold two on Mercari, and I'm going to show you right now. They're of the vintage variety. One of them was called, oh, here we go. Uh, doubles wild dice board game and it was vintage on Amazon they were going for like 169 I whatever but I sold it for $49 so I was very proud of that you can see the price right here and then the other one I sold right before Christmas was um, a Scrabble deluxe turntable game and it was stunning it was wooden turntable uh, really nice price new was like 90 something dollars. I sold it for 59 So I'm into the vintagey high quality stuff. So I'm hoping I can do something similar with this one in addition to vintage 70s tangos um, And these are awesome. These are puzzle games those Chinese puzzle games and it's an excellent condition It's so pretty um, so all the cards are still here. Just everything is okay. I promise I'm not going to talk about each one. This video is going to last forever. It's also a puzzle on how to close it. <laughs> anyway, vintage games. Oh, and the original, the original, um, instructions are still included, which is rare which is so rare. So I'm really happy with these two vintage games. And I have another one. What else? This one, four game, pewter and wood four game set. Beautiful chess set with checkers, backgammon, and tic-tac-toe. Um, and I checked everything. It's been like unused um, original packaging. The box was open, but not much has happened since then. And this also is a little heavy, but it's a gorgeous set. It's not like cheap plastic. So once again, I'm hope, hoping to get at least like 20 bucks for it, right? And then we have the original Mastermind. This is a game I grew up on with my dad. Me and my dad, we used to play this when I was like five, six, and seven years old um, before we left to live from Poland and we went to Italy. And I just remember my, when I used to live in Poland, this game, like I loved playing with my dad. Uh, but anyway, all the pieces are here. You know, maybe I'll get five, six dollars for it. Whatever. I'd be a happy camper. Then we have apples to apples. I counted all the cards and you know how many freaking cards are in apples to apples. Um, but everything is here. It's in excellent condition except 
the directions were bitten off in the corner. Hmm. So apples to apples. Those are also heavy, heavy, heavy. All right. So let me move on to the other box. Next up, I have this. And this has completely no brand on it. So I don't know who it's by. Um, but it's a beautiful steel case. Someone might just buy it for the steel case. And what it is, it, hold on, let me pull these out. I don't want to break it. So they're wooden boards with tic-tac-toe, Chinese checkers, obviously the regular chess board, and what is this here? Backgammon, and whatever that is. So all of that is here. No nothing so i don't even know how to market this but i really love the case and someone might like the case as well if i get 20 dollars for this i'll be a happy happy camper okay <clears throat> next box here we go so we have a marble climbing machine these are so cool they're still being sold on amazon for like 14 15 dollars this is a full complete set used but not really Oh, this is my favorite, you guys. I didn't even know they make um, Scrabble portable like that. So this is a, I guess, what do they call it? Hold on. A Scrabble, uh, where is it? It has a name. Just a minute. Looks like a binder. Hold on, what, what do they call it? Game Folio Edition. So Scrabble Game Folio Edition. And so look at that. Hold on, let me turn on the light here. Okay, you still can't see it. Oh, oh, there we go. See? So it's a little folio, and you open it up, ah, and you can just take it anywhere with you. What a picnic having a little tea in the afternoon amidst the beautiful sky and the birds. That's why I tapped on a British accent. So anyway, that, um, and I'm really, I'm really hopeful I'll get a little bit of money for that as well. Next up we have Uncle Wiggly. I've never heard of Uncle Wiggly ever before. Unfortunately, there is one piece missing and one piece is a little broken. But I'm still excited about this game because number one, it's old. Number two, that board is stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? I would just turn this and hang it in a kid's room. It's so colorful. The pictures are so pretty. Look at that Boston Terrier. I can totally make this into something to hang and for kids to still play with. I'm really digging the um, artwork on this. I think it's stunning. So if I can get five bucks for it, I'm really happy. Maybe someone's going to buy it for pieces because they're missing pieces. Who the heck knows? Then... I'm also getting, um, I'm selling this battleship, and it's the electronic battleship. Tested, added new batteries, everything works. I'm really excited. Gigi likes this too, by the way. Okay, this pile's getting big. What else do we have? We have the skeleton floor puzzle. So foam um, body pieces, and all the pieces are here. So this is great um, for kids to learn. In case they're going to be like a future doctor or something. In the case kids in kindergarten, because it says grades K plus, need to learn about the major bones in the body. Um, it's here. Yeah, if not, we'll like donate it to a preschool or something. But uh, maybe it's a little too early for kids to learn bone names and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of rubbing me the wrong way. It's kind of weird. Anyway, what else do we have? Pitt Jr. Shout it out. I have no idea what that is. And then ugh, another big box. Let's see. We have Guess Who. And I counted everything. It's a complete set. Guess Who is an awesome, awesome game. Railroad Rush Hour. This is really awesome as well. Um, I, yeah. It's so cool. I, I don't, some of them I totally want to play with. <clears throat> Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, these are logic games by um, Think Fun, and I love Think Fun games. This one is called Tip Over. 
And this one is called Tilt, Teetering Logic Game. And so, yeah, literally, it like teeters, and you got these cards, and you got to use your brain. It's super awesome. Then we have Swish, another awesome game. And we have Time Shot Game. Do you guys remember Time Shot? You know, so you, you do the little timer, and you put all the doodads in there, and then when the timer runs out, they all come out. They're all like, eh! You had to be there. You just had to be there. Then we have Operation, but I'm missing one piece, but it's the Nickelodeon edition of Operation. I'm missing one little bone doodad thing. But besides that, everything is in working order. <clears throat> this is fabulous! So I love all the stackable games, you know, and this is one of those where you put all the sticks in the ball. And everything, it's been like unplayed. Everything is still beautifully um, put together. So I swear, someone's going to be crazy if they don't buy it, if they're opening up a little cafe or, or I don't know. Give me ideas. I need help. Um, next up is a classic train set. And Gigi and I played with it already. It goes choo-choo. Um, so beautiful working order. Who doesn't want a train set, right? What else do we got? <clears throat> oh, I have a few here that I think I'm going to have to sell for pieces somehow because they're incomplete. This Monopoly, this is the cool Monopoly. Um, the one where you put the card in. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm easily amused, I might say. So... And you got your like a little credit card yeah and you put that in there and that's like you so when you're playing you know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna explain to you the game but it's um, the electric monopoly and I'm missing I forget what I was missing like um, one of some of the homes or something I was missing something it wasn't major but I don't know if I can sell it without I gotta check I forget what it was that I was missing so here's the electronic monopoly. What else was there? Hold on. Um, oh, I have the original Circa baseball tabletop thing, and it's missing the balls, the um, like the um, marble balls. But maybe I can still sell it. Um, I have no idea. I got to look it up. I haven't looked it up yet. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> So it's nice solid wood thing and it's like, you know, you have the ball goes and then you have that. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And then last but not least, for the domino enthusiasts, I forgot to actually add this in. So that's going to be 30. Want. Well, I don't know how I'm going to sell it. If you're a domino person, this is definitely a bundle that you would want. So not only do I have 28 dominoes in here, here I have like 90-something dominoes. And they're the, like, I love the heavy ones. So, you know, you can do that thing where you put them all in order. And so if someone's into that and setting it up, this is a lot of dominoes, ladies and gentlemen. So here, lots and lots of dominoes. Instructions for different games. And then as if that wasn't enough dominoes, we got more dominoes in nice boxes. So these are nice cherry um, boxes. They're slightly aged because they're yellowish, but they have the cherry wood background. So they're so nice. So I have one box. The Sarah and the family have three boys. So naturally, we have three nice sets of dominoes. We have that one. Then we have a dark, dark um, box. And then we have a box with a dragon on it. I like that one. Check this out. So pretty. So pretty. It's all those dominoes. Someone's going to want it, right? Okay, so that. And then what else do I have here? <clears throat> I have one thing that 
it is not complete, but maybe, you know, I'll sell just like this part. So this is an origami, um, under the sea origami set, but more than I think half is gone. But what it does have left, um, what it has left is some, still some of the instructions and then all the paper. Um, so maybe I can sell it for like $2 and someone's going to get all the instructions and a bunch of paper and not even bother with the box. And then I can do paid shipping because it'll cost so very little to ship this. You never know. And then the last one, which I do not know if we have all the pieces, is electronic snap circuits. <clears throat> I think we might be missing a piece. I don't know. I, I'm going to have John or Levi, I think, go through it. But um, these are fun. And if there are pieces missing, maybe someone out there um, needs pieces. So I don't know. Have you guys ever done that? Sold games, game parts, game pieces? I have no idea. The book is hefty. It kind of intimidates me. If I, if I want to start like seeing if everything is here, it's intimidating. Look at all the pieces. So I'm going to have them go through it and see if I can sell it as all pieces there or not. So that is my task for this weekend. Well, for today, I'll start today. And then after I'm done with that, then I'm going to go over to Sarah's garage and get more stuff and see what, uh, what we can do. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this. This is an old fashioned train whistle. Realistic steam locomotive sound, luxurious black walnut, handcrafted in the highest standard. Exquisite lacour finish. Check this out. I just blew on it because it, it had a hole and I <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, someone better buy this. This is a pretty cool thing <laughs> It's gonna be a sound prop for me. We're gonna be like all right everybody. Let's get going on an adventure <laughs> Anyway, it's in the package It's pretty cool so we'll see if someone wants to buy that. I gotta look it up and see how much these go for. Um, so that's my challenge, you guys. All right, so just out of curiosity, I went to look at the sold games on eBay. Just, just wanted to be curious. Man, there's some games that people are really making some good money. Ah. I mean, really, if you go thrifting a lot and you're bored with clothes, you need to look into this. I look at these prices. These are all the sold, um, all the sold games on eBay. Board games. I I did a board game uh, search. Check this out. Forty board game lot collection card games, board game strategy collector, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, Zooks, isn't that? Crazy. Man. Dark Tower. High Face for $503. Am I missing something? I'm uh, check this out, you guys. I'm in the wrong business. Oh, let's see what else is here. Myth. Harry Potter Clue sold for $476. Really now? Okay, so this Dark Tower thing, I guess looks some, like something people want. Now this is so interesting, you guys. You need to check this out. You just never know. You might come across one of these in the freaking uh, thrift store, get packing jet blue. Oh, includes a jet blue trip flight certificate. Okay, I understand that. I'm just 
flabbergasted. Okay, Dark Tower. I think I will remember. Dark Tower is a game that people want. So I'm going to put that in my, in my head. Wow. This is unbelievable. It definitely is making me look at games differently, board games differently. Oh my lord. Dark Tower, Dark Tower. Okay, whatever that Dark Tower is, I get it. And this Gloomhaven one. Yes, Gloomhaven, I got it. I'm committing them to memory. Holy cannoli. Dark Tower Gloomhaven. Dark Tower Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. I get it. Gloomhaven or heaven, whatever. Dark Tower. Okay, so now you know the most in demand games <laughs> that are being sold on eBay. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. Hero Quest. Okay, that's enough. I think you get the point, as do I. My laptop has arrived. So I'm going to share this with you, opening my laptop. Okay, so we're going to try to do this like the people, like the professional reviewers. I have the invoice slip right here, neatly attached to the top. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not going to talk like that. But let me show you my paperwork from Apple. Yes, Apple. One laptop. Okay, so as you may notice, there is this little arrow right there, and I'm going to tear it open just like that. I'm so excited. Okay, nicely packaged. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the white box from the brown box. And put that away just us like that. And here is the laptop! MacBook Pro. All MacBook products are boring to open because they're so freaking simple, you know? Um, they all look the same, the white box, and like minimalist, there's like not much else in there. Nonetheless, it's super exciting. Okay, come on, dang it. <sighs> Should I use my Scotty peeler? I gotta go over, I gotta show you guys all the tools that I'm using now, because I picked up some new reseller tools, like clothing tools. I haven't shared with you guys, but I've been using them. Okay, so it comes in a box like that. I'm going to open it. Oh, hold on. Like, <laughs> there it is. Beautiful white box. Ooh, there's a little tab. Oh, it helps me to pick up the laptop. Oh, wow. It's so much thinner than my other MacBook. Um, wow. So, okay. It, it's still in the box. What you have is your, your little warranty thing and your Apple sticker. I'm collecting the Apple stickers. Every time I get an Apple product, I get those Apple stickers and I save them. I should sell them one time. Hey, 20 Apple stickers for sale. Not 20, I mean maybe like 10. Apple stickers for sale. Here we have our, oh, I love how they have the little thing so you can quickly pick it up. Your adapter and power cord. And that's it. And your laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and see how neatly it can go. Uh, beautifully packaged. Simplicity and beauty of the packaging. And I went for the dark one. So they have an option of a dark gray and a light gray. The other one is light gray, so I decided to go with the dark. I'm going to get a skin for it anyway. Um, so, But it's thin. I thought it's going to be... Because it's like the air. So John has the air and it's thin and light. This one is a pro 
And it's not light, but it's much thinner than I anticipated. Um, so that's interesting. And when you open it, you still have a protective feature right there. And voila! As soon as I opened it, it began to boot. But it's so nice and clean. Goodness gracious, check this out. And the new ones have that bar thing on top. Um, so I don't know yet how I'm going to use it and whatever, but you don't need a mouse. You just use the trackpad. Of course, you can have a mouse, but um, I don't, I'm comfortable with this. And that's that. So all the future movies will be recorded with this camera. Oh, literally. Mm, I already made a, made a smudge. <laughs> I made a smudge and I didn't want to smudge. So yeah, it's it's here. I'm gonna be making more videos. I gotta download my um, movie thingy magic and I am super excited. Especially the trackpad thing. Oh, and then it just walks you through the setup as easily as every other Apple product. Your any laptop, I mean a uh, what? Siri, what'd you say? She's talking to me already. I gotta change that voice to a guy because I don't like. I want like a guy with a British or Australian accent or something. But anyway, it's here. It's here. Okay, I gotta go play with it. It was wonderful to connect with you guys. Stay tuned. I have some video ideas, but please, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see from me, uh, leave me a comment down below. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. And uh, if you are missing Gigi, Gigi, can you say hello to YouTube world? She's right here. She's sleeping this time. She's not messing with me. Okay, so setting up the laptop is just the easiest thing in the world. And that's why I love Apple, right? So all I did was I went through the prompts, the setup prompts, and I entered my Apple ID. Once I set up my Apple ID, and because I have everything on the cloud, it automatically connected everything. So all the files I have on my iMac are automatically visible here. And all, you know, every, all my favorites in my, in my search, all my, everything that I use, it's, it's all automatically in there. I love that. I don't have to transfer any information. I don't have to do anything. I can just begin working on here as if I was on my iMac. And that's why I love Apple because I love simplicity, right? Now, the one thing I don't know anything about is that new bar thing they added. I know I did the fingerprint scan thing. So the way to open my, my laptop, I'll use that fingerprint. But I have no idea what the rest of the buttons are. I'm so excited. It's all set up. I can start working on it. Okay, off to edit this video. Cheers. Real quick, while I was doing this video, I, I came across these excellent resources. Board Game Geek was one, and the other one was Gamers Alliance. So if you're into this, I highly recommend those two sites.